Hi everyone, today's video is going to be about C++ setup using Visual Studio uh, in a WSL system and uh, so that will be also Linux based. Uh, if you haven't already watched uh, my WSL installation video, uh, I'll be linking that in, in the screen right now. Uh, also watch my compiling through a G++ video uh, in order to understand how to compile using G++ and uh, compile C++ code. Uh, so to start, I have Visual Studio opened up. Uh, first, we need to install the C++ plugin, uh, which is available here. In the extensions, if you just uh, search up C++, it should show up. I'm going to be installing the extension pack. Uh, it should say install in WSL. Uh, let's wait for the installation to finish. Okay, so once that is done, uh, we can go into the file explorer. I have a tutorial 1.cpp uh, C program. Uh, which prints out hello world 10 times. Uh, the next thing to do is to configure IntelliSense. So we do control shift P and we're going to be searching for edit configurations here. I already have it at the top here. So I'm going to click this. Uh, there's two versions UI and then JSON. Uh, the UI version is going to be easier, so I'm going to be clicking this. So this uh, tab should open up. Uh, we're going to be clicking Linux here uh, since I'm going to be using the WSL system. Uh, we have to link the compiler. And so we can, so this is automatically chosen. And for since it's C++, uh, we need to change it to G++11. Uh, I'm going to be using this because I have G++11. Uh, we can search that using G++ version inside the terminal. And it should tell you the version that you're using. Uh, for compiler arguments, uh, we can leave this blank for now. Uh, for IntelliSense mode, uh, I have chosen here a Linux uh, GCC x64. And so I'm using a 64-bit system. Uh, to check that, we could do inside the terminal, uname uh, dash m. And this should pop up uh, the version. So x86 underscore 64 is a 64-bit system. If you get i686 or i386, then you should be using the 32-bit uh, version, uh, which is x86. Uh, if we go a bit more down, uh, this is the include path. Uh, for now, all my folders uh, are all the files that I have are inside the workspace itself. And uh, that that should be given uh, with this um, with this keyword. Uh, if you have any other .h files in any other uh, path, uh, you should be including that uh, below this. Uh, another important one is the C++ standard. And for this one. Uh, we could use GNU++17 or C++, the C++ standard. Uh, the GNU has some extensions over the C++ standard. So uh, for now, I'll be using the C++17. Uh, that's it regarding 
the configurations we can close this and to make sure that uh, the configurations are saved uh, you can check this JSON file inside the .vs code if you click that uh, it should pretty much sum up all the configurations uh, inside the UI that we configured and these configurations can be directly manipulated as well. Uh, so to, to now run the file, what we could do is uh, press this play button right here. I'm gonna uh, use this down arrow and then press the run C or C++ file. So we can see the output of the C++ file here. So it's printing out hello world 10 times. And there's also the debug method we could do. Uh, we can click this. Uh, let's put a breakpoint and click the debug file. and we should step into the debugger uh, so it's gonna go into the for loop uh, for 10 times uh, one other thing that i uh, had problems with is the with the gdb itself uh, if if this play button is not working uh, Try doing sudo apt get install and then uh, GDB and this fixes any problems that uh, GDB has dependencies with so the, these dependencies were missing in my WSL system and uh, this this line helped fix that one Uh, we can also compile using the terminal and we can do that using G++ tutorial uh, 1.cpp so G++ is the compiler name and the file name is tutorial 1.cpp uh, if we do that we should see uh, a dot out folder or file And if we run that, we should see hello world. So we can use the plus button or we can use the terminal to run the code itself. Uh, so that's it for today's video. Leave a like or subscribe to the channel if this helped in any way or form. Thank you.